Welcome back to Boxwood Avenue. My name is Chloe, and today I'm going to show you how to build this chicken coop. We have a chicken coop right now that was given to us as a wedding gift, and it's pretty dilapidated. So my dad's up here this weekend, and we built this coop. I've recorded the whole thing, and we're going to share the plans with you. So let's get started. Okay, we cut our uh, pressure treated eight foot four by fours in half to make the legs. And now we are building the floor. So we're gonna cut these into two 60 inch pieces and three, four, four 38 inch pieces. The floor and then since we got eight foot pieces, we're just gonna cut those in half for the, uh, the top of the wall sit right on top of the four by four post. So it's a four by four by a four by four. So we've got the floor almost done. We're adding support, support beams. Floor joists. Floor joists, 20 inches in on each side. Okay, now we're gonna do the top plates. Our floor done and the legs done and now we're going to cut uh, two by fours to make the top plate yeah what length four feet because we got a four by four by four by four eggs so we got the what are those called that you just nailed onto the legs top plates top plates on each leg The next thing we got to do is set the height of the floor wherever you want it. So even we're on kind of uneven ground here, so I only put one nail in each corner because we're going to have to adjust it and tweak it around. But we got the basic frame all set up here now. So we got the four foot by four foot by four foot. <laughs> well, this is how you make sure things are square by measuring diagonally from corner to corner. Pick the same spot, it's 54 inches this way. And when I measure it this way, it's 54 and a half. So it's not square. So when it's out of square, how do you fix it? Well, you just have to kind of push it around until you get all your numbers the same when you crisscross all the sections and then you know you're square. You could, what happens is you'll start tweaking one end and you screw up the other end so <laughs> sometimes you have to put a brace get a section square and then brace it put a diagonal piece of scrap wood and then go to the other end until you get it where you want it but for a chicken coop that's not that important yeah it's not but when we cut the plywood for the siding and stuff mm -hmm. it'll be important it's yeah because this plywood's pretty square you have straight edges. <laughs> it's not going to line up. Got it all squared up. Now the top at least. And we're going to put the finishing nails in to hold it. So we took some time to square it all up because we want the siding to be straight when we put it on. And now we're going to do the roof rafters. The trusses. <laughs> so now we're measuring the floor width and length and we're going to cut a piece of plywood to uh, fit it as the floor before we move on to building the roof. Well would you look at that. We got our eight foot sticks here and we're uh, marked them right in half at four feet because this is our chicken coop is four by four by four by four and so this is going to be the peak of the rafter so we're going to cut them at 45 degrees and nail them together you got your box with avenue pencil Yes, I got my Boxwood Avenue pencil. 
so well, this is the leftover plywood from the floor and we're going to use this for the little braces at the top of the rafters so I'm cutting I measured the seven inches wide so seven by seven with a diagonal across there and since our rafters are right at 90 degrees then it makes these little top pieces really easy to make So we're measuring the length in between this post and this post and we're going to add a little 2x4 there and then we'll do it again here so that we have something to nail the siding into. Alright now we've got our frame done, we're going to start measuring the siding. Here. We know this is four feet, so it came out as like 31 and a quarter, I think, or 30, 32 and a quarter. 32 and a quarter back of this piece of plywood. Came up 32 and a quarter. And then I laid our roof truss on top, and uh, right where it's it meets the four foot mark. And then I made a, a mark right in the middle at two feet so I could get it symmetrical. Now you're going to so, trace and cut? Trace and cut. Laying down the siding on top of the end truss, we're going to nail it down here before putting it on the coop. <laughs> okay. We're going to use this 2x4 as our like hinge rest, I guess. Oh, it's like the door stop. Oh, right. the top of the door. This is going to be our door stop. Yeah. We've measured. What did I say? There. It's 31 and a quarter. And there's your door. So now we're measuring the sides of the coop to check. Gotta notch this little corner out here. So we measured out the sides of the coop and we found that we had to notch this out because of the roof. Yeah, the rafters come down at, at the angle of a little bit of clearance. <laughs> This side we have our nesting boxes, so we aren't going to cut the length. Oops, the length of the siding is only going to go to this point, which is 15 inches above the floor. Is it 14 inches? 14. <laughs> 14 inches. 14 inches. So, about there. so we're marking out our nesting box here with the tape measure. So we're going to cut our siding from this point. To that point rather than the whole length of the sidewall. 13 inches. So we took a little lunch break and then we all took naps but now we're back getting going and we are working on the nesting box. So right now my dad's measuring out the sides of the nesting box. So we've got what 17 inches? Oh uh, well this it's 19 and three quarters here and 10 over there. Here, and then we'll connect those dots and that's the angle for the lid of the nesting box. So you're going to want to build a frame inside the nesting box. So we've got a piece of 2x4 going the length, we're going to have a piece of 2x4 coming up, we're going to have a piece of 2x4 coming up this direction too. That way that gives us something to nail the trim into here, or the siding onto here, and the siding onto here. Greg cut these angles at 42 and a half. Birds don't like odd numbered angles. <laughs> Need over there? Uh, yeah. So we cut eight inch high strips of two by four.
placed into the back of the nesting box so that we had something to nail the nesting box dividers into. Now we're going to add a piece of 2x4 from here, there. So we decided to make little windows in the door, so we measured one window out, and now we're going to trace it onto the other one. Now to put our middle rafter in, we're just going to put a little block, 2x4 block, so we have something to nail it into. Here we got one door hung, they're working on the hinges on the other door, and my dad is adding little braces here on the roof, so that we have something to nail the roof into. We are about 90% done for the day. We're gonna call it a night, finish tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna do roof and trim work. Then I just gotta paint it. Okay, day two, Dad. <laughs> Starting with the roof. Yeah. We've got roof and trim. We got roof trim, we got some sheet metal, some old vintage crusty seat sheet metal that looks vintage. Cool. Let's go. <laughs> Measured a three inch overhang on either side and then cut a piece of plywood to fit the roof and we'll do the same thing on the other side and then we're going to nail our metal directly onto the plywood. We got our roof done and it's a little out of square because we built this coop on uneven ground. So You're we've not just supposed to tell people our mistake. <laughs> so we've just sort of got it tacked up and we're gonna use sheet metal as the roof, which will hide any of the imperfections. Found this old tin up at the ranch, so we're gonna flip it sideways and nail it up, and that's gonna be our roof, and we got a little overhang there. Okay, we got half the roof done. And I am busy painting the inside. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun building it with my dad. Really fun memories. And our chickens have loved this coop. If you'd like the plans for this chicken coop, you can get them on my blog, boxwoodavenue.com.